Jeff Liberty follows the Atlantic Canadian music scene for Information Morning in St. John on his bi-weekly column, Take Liberty. He joins us with a look at his favorites from the records he featured in 2015. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Steve. How we doing? Good. Yourself? I'm doing great. Now, I know it's been a good year for Atlantic Canadian music. What, what was your uh, top five for the year? Well, and I just want to say, everything else that's not on the top five are honorable mentions. Okay. So, but yeah, it's been a banner year for music, for sure. And uh, I'm going to start with my number five. Nova Scotia's own Joel Plaskett and his album, I Am You Sobriety Test. And we did that in April, April 7th to be exact. How can you go wrong with Joel Plaskett? You know that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's an album that electric meets organic, acoustic folk. Uh, there's obviously that Celtic thing in there. His band, The Emergency, is on board. And uh, people like J.P. Cormier on kind of the roots here moments. Uh, he's a phenomenon, if people don't know J.P. Cormier. Amazing. And other guests include Mo Kenny, Aaron Costello, Dale Murray, who I like to refer to as Christina Martin's partner and secret weapon. And what I like most here is the lyrical snapshots, pop culture references, all delivered with the quick wit of a master rhymer and storyteller. Who knows, maybe there's a rap album coming from him. I think there should be. I, I would buy it. <laughs> I would definitely buy that. A lot record. of people would buy that. <laughs> and the song we featured during that time was All Right, Okay. It's a great album, though, through and through. As you say, you can't really miss with Joel Plaskett. He oh, is, my goodness. He's a model of consistency, for sure. He is, definitely. He's able to throw so much in there, too. This mismatch of everything, and it just works every time. You'd like to see his record collection. Oh, my I goodness. Because I bet you it's pretty eclectic. Oh, I would love to. I think you should invite us over. <laughs> invite us over for eggnog, and we can go through it in the new year. <laughs> so, so, so what was your number four pick? Well, number four, uh, we're staying in Nova Scotia, although she did spend some time here in New Brunswick. She, she did. She, she lived. She grew up in Ross Haven. That's right. right. Yeah, for a bit. And it's Christina Martin's It'll Be All Right. And we featured that um, in February. And I was a big fan of the, the record Two Hearts, and this just sealed the deal. Uh, gutsy, emotional, charged pop rock record head and shoulders above the majority of the albums coming out this past year from the east coast uh in every aspect just strong songwriting um and uh, of course she just oozes confidence and charisma seductiveness and of course her husband the dale murray the secret weapon is here again i kind of hear kind of some pat benatar chrissy hines cheryl crow in here so she add her to the list of those strong females with a true original voice and vision so Love that album. Keep playing it. All, all these records I'm, I'm keep playing, and that's how I know they, they are in the top five. And uh, we featured I've Got a Gun, which is a tremendous song. So mm -hmm. check that one out, folks. Yeah, and this album, too, like in the past, she has been more sort of singer-songwriter mm. and, and has been kind of developing more of a pop rock kind of yeah. motif. And the, this one really, I think, does, as you say, seals the deal. Yeah, and it's funny how those people, a lot of people become, like, they're singer-songwriters, folky artists, and then they kind of find their way. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, and she's a prime example, and that's why I kind of threw her in with great people like Chrissy Hind. So, number three? A new name to most people, including me at the time, and what a pleasant and exciting musical surprise it was. My number three pick was, we're staying in Nova Scotia again, Mr. Joseph Bridge. It was a concept album, too. We featured it in May of this year. comes from uh, a character named Marvin who lives in a sanitarium. So it's a storybook world that pulls you into this special place that Joseph's created. Ah, the sound, you know, cosmic rock, psychedelic pop rock, out of that Pink Floyd sound, you know, that early stuff, the early Sid stuff. Barrett, mm -hmm. very much, not the later stuff, Sid Barrett for sure, whimsical, uh, stunning, a true artist with a soul and knack for melody, and he's got some really cool guests, which I was really excited about. I'm a bit of an 80s music fan, as you, as you may know, Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ian McNabb from Icicle Works, which is so cool. And uh, and then really local kind of NB people like Alex Madsen from The Divorcees, another tremendous band and, and artist. And then Keith Scott from Brian Adams' band. That's amazing. He plays guitar on a couple tracks. We featured Phyllis, the parking meter lady, a fantastic song and video you guys got to check out. And Ian McNabb's on that one. Uh, so we're getting closer to the top. What's yeah. your number two pick? The album Seasons by Fredericton's own Andy Brown. He's got some really cool people on this, first of all, that you, i got to point out, um, like Tim Chasen, Jeremy Fisher, fantastic pop songwriter mm -hmm. as well, Jen Grant, and uh, Kinley Dowling from Hey Rosetta. And Songs of Love, Death, Rebirth, the story of most pop songs, right? 
Turning musical corners here, though, uh, he has more life experience under his belt, I find, from the other records. More mature, uh, superb songwriting comes through here. Uh, pop music with soul, though. Ballads and mid-tempo songs are what makes the majority of the record. Uh, he's a master of priming the list listener into an erupting into a sing-along chorus, you know? That's an art in, in itself. You know, a few people do it today, like, you know, Sam Smith, Ed Sheeran, Snow Patrol, uh, Passenger. So he's, I kind of like, not necessarily lump him in that, but not a pl bad place to be lumped in if you want to sell some records. He, he has come a long way from his, uh, his Galaxy Rising star days, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. You've seen a real growth in his music. Yeah, definitely, and soundtracks have been picking him up, so there's been all really cool stuff, and we featured Run, which is fantastic, so check that one out. Well, here's the big one. What is here's number one, one for you in 2015? Can we cue the drum roll? We could <laughs> the number one album uh, for Take Liberty in 2015 is, and this might be a surprise to some people, and that's why we do things like this, it's NB's own pop music chameleon Zwerg. His album, Dual Citizen, and we actually featured it uh, at the front of the year, January. It was three years in the making since his last record, was, which was Whims and Words, uh, which was more about, you know, the East Coast, and, and uh, geography held it back, and it was a much quirkier record. But this record is fantastic and really took me by surprise. Um, produced by L.A. producer John Philip Chanel. John has done records with, like, Janet Jackson, Diana Ross, Tori Amos... So some wow. really great people, yeah. yeah. And Zwerg has spent some serious time here, uh, hidden away in his remote uh, location in the woods. He has a cabin, crafting some of the best pop dance songs I've heard in quite some time, and I really mean that. His voice is really strong. Actually, it sounds like a new artist this time around. It's the best thing he has done this far, and he deserves to be number one on this list. Reminding me of pop highlights like Bonnie Tyler's I Need a Hero on songs like Cat Fight, which is the one we we played and we featured earlier this year mm -hmm. and kind of that george michael clubbier fist pumping material as well so it's contemporary retro sounding fresh not dated in the least and there's really cool cutting guitars as well on rockier numbers and uh but he's got a sense of mystery about him uh reminiscent of imogene heap if you remember her mm -hmm. her big hit song hide and seek killer songs that will knock you out and uh, I really like this one. It's It feels good, and we need a real good feel-good song as we drive through the snow. So this is Zwerg with I'm a Joke to You. That is Moncton's Zwerg with I'm a Joke to You.